Today's mission, become a mode-changing master in your TI-30XS MultiView, the GED calculator. You're going to go ahead and select the mode key, and your calculator will probably be in normal math print mode, which is what you want most of the time. So second line down should have norm in black, and the fourth line down should have math print in black. But I want you to switch to classic mode instead of math print. So navigate down to that fourth line, press enter to select the classic mode and now you can just go ahead and get out of that screen by pressing clear that's the easiest way in that mode there i'd like you to input the expression one divided by three one divided by three and what you'll see there is if you're in classic mode the default is to give you decimals that's what you guys are usually used to that's why they call it classic mode. It's like a little handheld calculator or like your phone calculator. However, you're gonna find that a lot of times fraction answers are required on the GED. So if you ever get a type of answer you're not expecting, you just go ahead and press the quick convert key right above enter and it'll flip it to the other most common form. So we just went from decimal to a fraction. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and change the mode again. So hit mode for me. And now I want it back in math print. So navigating down to that fourth line with the arrows, I go over to math print till it's blinking there. Press enter to select and clear to get out of the screen. Nice. And now I want you to reduce a fraction in the calculator. And the way we do that is we just go ahead and input the fraction. So I'm going to hit N over D. And if you're in the right mode, you should see that nice horizontal fraction bar. And now arrow down to type 51, press enter, and I don't even have to do anything. It reduces for me to one third. Woohoo! And now let's quick convert to a decimal form in case my answer is in decimal form. There you go. Pressing that quick convert button, I get 0 0.3333. Now about scientific mode, this might come in handy for your science test. So go ahead and hit mode and then see the second line where norm is selected. I want you actually to arrow over to the next one, psi. Press enter to select that scientific mode and then clear to get out of that screen. And now it's going to do something interesting with numbers you input. So let's input 98,700 and then hit enter and take a look at what happens. It shoots out your number in scientific notation form. Your answer, as we think of it, should say 9.87 times 10 to the fourth. It just converted that into a special kind of number that scientists use, scientific notation. Now, if it comes up on the science test and they give you numbers in scientific notation to add, subtract, multiply, or divide, you can do that in your calculator as well. So let's try this example. Let's do 3.2 and I want to use scientific notation. So the easiest way is just top center there that times 10 to the n button. And then I'm just able to type in my exponent which in this case is 3. So 3.2 times 10 to the third. Now use your arrow key to get out of that before you hit the plus button. And we're going to say plus 4.5 and again I'll use the times 10 to the end button and it's times 10 to the second so I'll type in 2. Hit enter and there you go it added numbers in scientific notation and gave me the answer in scientific notation. Hey that's easy and yes you do get this calculator on your science test. So great we know how to use it for scientific notation but fair warning make sure you turn your calculator out of scientific notation before you you end or you're going to be real confused on the next problem. So let me arrow back down to norm, enter to select it, clear to get out of that screen. And now if I type in a number like 98,700, it won't give me some funky answer. It's going to return my numbers in the standard form of a number. All right, you are a mode changing master.